Lou Fry is one of the good guys in American politics. When he was congressman, he knew as a Republican, he had to reach out to Democrats, bring people together, build consensus in order to find the workable solution. Well, when you think of Lou Fry, you immediately think of a visionary leader. In the early 70s, when it became apparent that McCoy Air Force Base was going to close, he went and convinced the president, the president of the United States, to sell 2,000 acres of that Air Force property to the city of Orlando for a dollar. And I can think of no more uh, important economic driver than our international airport and lose Fry's name ought to be stamped all over that. Uh, he was instrumental in preserving our simulation industry. Uh, there was a time when uh, it looked as though that uh, the Naval Simulation uh, Center was going to move to Pensacola. Uh, Lou uh, got involved, uh, stopped that in its tracks and today that's a five billion dollar industry for our community. I do think it is that uh, sense of developing a uh, a civic ethic uh, in, in our young people. Uh, he was able to get a law passed uh, in Tallahassee that requires the teaching of civics. He's been passionate about the Lou Fry Institute of uh, Government and Politics at, at, uh, at UCF, and I've watched him work consistently and persistently uh, to get it uh, the support it needs to be uh, successful on an ongoing basis. It really is focused on promoting enlightened, engaged, and active citizens, and he starts from the youth, and he's always been focused on the youth. And he's done that with, with a lot of youth, and he's gotten them engaged. We have people who now are in the service, we have people who now are in Congress, uh, we've got people who are pastors who, who really say to my dad thank you because he's helped them sort of find their passion. If you're ever gonna have a cheerleader for Central Florida, it's Lou Fry. Uh, he loves our community. Uh, and uh, one of the things uh, that's so important is he uh, also is uh, not only dedicated to, to his community, but his family. Lou and Marcia and their family are absolutely solid uh, citizens. If it weren't for Lou Fry, Central Florida would be a different place today and not nearly as positive and tremendous place to live as it is today.